What's up, everybody? This is Fred Rachani of TSC Gaming here to give you guys a special look at the League mode of Rugby 18 on PlayStation 4, also available on Xbox One and PC. We'll have a full in-depth review of this game later this week. This is distributed by Big Ben Interactive, developed by Echo Software. This is the sequel to the much maligned Rugby 15, and I'll give you guys my full, complete, honest, in-depth thoughts later this week. This game did just come out in certain markets, and it should be available worldwide October 27th. So look forward to that if you're a rugby fan. Now, we have four different leagues. Full disclosure, I am not a rugby fan. So it's been fun for me to review this game and learn the different teams. So please don't hold it against me if I'm not too familiar with this club here and there. But here are the four leagues you could play. You got Premiership Rugby, 12 most prestigious clubs in England, 24 total games. The final stage is the playoffs. You got top 14 rugby. It's the first division of the Union in France, involving 14 great clubs, 26 games. The final stage is relegation and playoffs. You have Pro 14. It includes teams from Wales, Ireland, Scotland, South Africa, and Italy. 24 games, with the final stage being a knockout. And then we have Pro D2, which is the second division in France, and that involves 16 pro teams. 30 games total, and the final stage includes relegation and playoffs so if you guys want to just get an example of some of the teams you'll get in each league in aviva you get the likes of the harlequins leicester london irish newcastle the list goes on and on manchester the wasps bath rugby limited exeter rugby club limited gloucester rugby football club limited pretty cool i love these logos and uniforms by the way and i think you will too if you are a rugby fan or not top 14 Got a ton of different teams right here from France, as you can see. And then we move on to Pro 14. We got Benetton Rugby, the Cardiff Blues, the Toyota Cheetahs. I like that logo. The team doesn't seem very good, but I like that logo. Canuck Rugby, Edinburgh Rugby, the Glasgow Warriors right here, Leinster Rugby, Munster Rugby with a high score of 78. You got the Dragons, who look pretty cool, but aren't rated very high. The Ospreys, the Scarlets. And hey, as somebody that went to Rutgers and represented the Scarlet Knights, maybe I'll select them. Ulster Rugby, Zibre Rugby Club, and the Southern Kings. So a pretty nice selection there. And then lastly, we have Pro D2, the second division of France right here. As you can see, all these clubs. So obviously, a ton of teams to choose from. Even if you want to just do a, a quick local game right here, you'll see you got a number of different clubs. And if you just press L1 or R1, you can go through the different teams. You even got the national teams right here. So I know in my last video, I showcased the different teams from the, the clubs and everything. Uh, but you have national teams as well. So you got Australia, England, Fiji, France, Italy. The British and Irish Lions, the New Zealand Club, Scotland, South Africa, Wales. And what I'll do for you guys right now is give you a little bonus and just show you the intro to all these games since people were excited and re specifically requested South Africa. So, you know what? Let me select Scotland because we have a ton of Scottish subscribers. Shout out to them. You can select the different jerseys. I uh, will select this one right here that one let's confirm and let's go to kick off and show you guys just a little preview of what you'll get in rugby 18 by the way if you enjoyed this video please click the like button please share this with all your friends please don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications for more rugby 18 and sports game updates let's check out this preview guys good evening everyone and welcome to We're waiting for the referee to start the match. Thanks, Nick. 
Yes, a test match is always a good opportunity to see a squad's strengths and weaknesses. The word test match is a good way to describe this sort of meeting and is used to describe matches between national teams outside of official tournaments. One interesting point, back in the day there were far fewer meetings at this level. He's taken to the ground, now he has to release the ball. They have to release the ball now. White playing with the advantage. This out, misses the tackle, adding extra bodies. They've got to release the ball, freeing it up for Laidlaw. Brilliant tackle. Terrific tackle by Umtawawira. Umtawawira takes the ball from the ruck. Mahoud, there was a foul, but the referee is playing advantage. He plays it to the left. Oh, wow, that was a little bit high. 